Thank you and good afternoon to your excellencies, um, all the climate change activists. I want to make a few general remarks before I get to my story. As um, cities around the world, we are the drivers of change. And it's in cities where we have to drive uh, climate change and make sure that we implement the Paris Agreement. And therefore, it is important that the international community step up on the Paris Agreement as the global community so that we can all start working together. My story is that I was in an unfortunate position whereby my city, the city of Cape Town, experienced our worst drought in 100 years. So climate change is a reality, it exists, and we had to mitigate, and I had to wake up every morning and say, I will not allow a well-run city to run out of water. And there were speculations that it was going to be the first city around the world that might run out of water. And so the challenge every morning was, how do you deal with this? because there was no example that you could look to in the past and see how you can deal with it. So the first thing I did was to sit down and say, we have to change. And we did a scenario planning that came up with a scenario of the new normal, and the new normal being that we will never be the same, that we can no longer rely on rainwater only. Uh, to sustain ourselves, we have to augment, we have to change our relationship with water. And so we start as a collective, as a city. In 2016, we were using 1.1 billion liters of water per day. As I speak to you now, we've reduced that to 500 million liters of water per day. In two years, we've reduced our water consumption by 55%. Now, that was a way of pulling all our communities together to survive together. And I had to say to the citizens on a daily basis, we can only save water while we have water. But at the same time, we have to accept that you can no longer rely, because of climate change, rely only on rainwater to fill up your dams. So we started looking at desalination, at groundwater, and aquifers to augment our supply. But in a crisis, it also presented an op many opportunities. Uh, climate change can really stimulate the development of many of our cities. For instance, we had to deal with a, a big percentage of about 20% of water leakage on a daily basis. So we start fixing our infrastructure and we employ more than 4,000 young unemployed youth, uh, train them as community plumbers, and let them lose into the community to fix all the leaks and thereby also saving every drop. But we were also able to get into our schools and mobilize the children who again became like the policemen at home, teaching the mother and father not to waste water. But it was a collective effort that pulled us through all of this. And it, if it was not for our membership of the C40 cities, and I wish to thank uh, Michael Bloomberg, and also I want to thank uh, Governor Brown for bringing all of us here together. I was able to pick up the phone to any mayor anywhere in the world, and including the mayor of San Francisco, because San Francisco had also gone through a, a, a massive drought uh, during that time. So networking is important, but we have to get our national governments, and I'm not trying to blame them, but they need to begin to see the urgency of dealing with climate change. And that yes, COP21 in Paris was important and we've all rectified all of those agreements, but the time has come now to walk the talk. No more policies, only development, but see at how we implement at city level, at state level, how we reduce 
and mitigate the effects of climate change. I believe that if we step up our fight against climate change, we will be able to save the future world and make a climate safe world. But we don't have time. We have to do it now and we have to start taking action now. So that is my story from the most sudden tip of the city, I mean, of, of a continent of Africa. It was a hard lesson to learn to, to, to keep uh, water as life and to keep water to make it available to our citizens on a daily basis. And I'm sure I can share my experience with many other cities uh, who are here in, in San Francisco to attend the summit who's gone through the same thing. So thank you for the opportunity and God bless.